All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua, Bashem Rakhak Kadosh. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the others, great millstone. And this is Shia Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, title of this lesson, you know, is going going to be dedicated towards um pretty soon. There are going to be a large multitude of uh, brothers uh, in this uh, truth, okay? And um, it's going to be to the point where <laughs> you're going to be so amazed, like, God dang, like, where all these brothers came from, you know? Um, we get this scripture to start it off, okay? Jeremiah 16 and 16, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Okay? And um, we're, we're, when we go out on the highway and hedges, you know, what we do is we try to bait people in to, um, into this uh, word, you know? And, um... We use many different um, ways to do it, you know. That's one of the things, you know, baiting, you know. We get this word bait. <coughs> uh, food used to entice fish or others is, uh, other animals is prey, okay. So... The Bible is um, uh, known as uh, food, you know. That's one of the um, the uh, different comparisons that you uh, can say, you know. But we try to lure other people into this uh, this truth, you know, um, which is tempt a person or animal to do something. Or to go somewhere, especially by offering some form of reward. You know? And um, sometimes that's what you got to do to Jake. To, to, to get them to, to, to um, you know, feel enticed. You know, tell them, you know, hey, you know, you know, we, you know this Bible is for you, man. You know, I, you know, we the chosen people and, you know, so on and so forth. There's more hope, you know, than what's in front of us. Okay? Just to, to, to tell them the reward that's, you know, going to happen if we, if you, you, you continue in the doctrine, you know. But, um, I'm going to continue on. This is uh, Luke 5 and uh, 1. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, okay, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, let down your nets, for a drought and Simon answering him saying I mean said unto him master we have toiled all night and have taken nothing nevertheless at your word I will let down the net and when they had this that had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke break okay and what did that multitude of fishes what did that signify that at the end, there are going to be a lot of brothers that are going to be waking up, and there's a small thing for the for the um the Lord to 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 wake up and send a lot of brothers uh to to this truth. Okay, that's a small thing. Okay, it uh, says and they beckoned unto their partners, which were end of other ship that they should come and help them. 
and they came and filled both for the ship both the ships that they began to sink okay you're gonna have a you know a lot of brothers is gonna be like god dang where, where these brothers come from but it's a good thing okay this is um acts 2 and 20, 41 then they that gladly received his word were baptized and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Okay, so in one day, 3,000 3, souls got added. Okay, then it says, um, Acts 4 and 4. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. Okay, this is 5,000 uh, brothers that got added. So 5,000 in one day. And then 3,000 in, in, in the other day, okay? This is 8,000 people, okay, that got added and they believed in the word, okay? This is um, Psalms 110 and uh, 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So when the Lord starts sowing his power, okay, a lot of people going going to um, wake up and they're going to come... Um, they're going to come uh, into the doctrine, okay? Now, when they do come, okay, it's going to have to be an order, okay, that's established, you know, so that uh, things can be um, done smoothly. At the end of the day, we this is all brothers that are, that are um, waking up, okay? that are going to come into this knowledge, okay, um, this is, uh, Exodus 18 and 20, and you shall teach them ordinances and laws, okay, and so show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do, so, so when you see if it happens to be a, a large multitude of people, Okay, or brothers coming into the to the faith, okay, to the right doctrine. You know, <laughs> we're gonna have to show them how to, you know, the 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 order, how things are supposed to be done, you know, what brothers are supposed to do as far as the laws, uh the right uh way they supposed to walk towards y'all by some y'all side and this doctrine going out in the in the in the um the hot cold or whatever the case may be says, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear Yahweh, men of truth, hate and covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto you but every small matter they shall judge, so shall it be easier for yourself, and they shall bear the burden with you. Okay? So all of the um the brothers, you know, it's gonna have to to, to, to um be ordered, okay? And and um you know the men that, that fear the Lord are gonna be teaching other brothers on what to do and what not to do, okay? But right now, we looking at, you know, people with the, you know, can these people, um, you know, will these people get it? You know, we know that two thirds of Israel are going, going to be destroyed, but that one third that will be saved. Okay. That's a large number still. Okay. This is, um, Ezekiel 37 and, uh. Nine. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Okay, so you might look and be like, yo, ain't nobody walk, you know, walking by listening. You know what I'm saying? That's why we prophesy unto the wind. Okay, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived and stood up upon their, their feet, an exceeding great army. 
Okay, and that that the the men <laughs> that that are about to come, man. The Lord is about to do some 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 great things, man. Okay. In the uh, book of Revelation, it talks about the 144,000, okay, that, you know, brothers say that, you know, they already sealed. We almost out of here, man, you know? That that army is, uh, is, uh, being, being, um, put together before our eyes. This, then he said unto me, son of man, these bones... Are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Okay? So, you got a lot of people that are going to wake up, you know, out of their, their sleep, man. A large multitude of people, man, that are that are des designated for uh for for salvation, man. You know, and it's a beautiful thing, okay. But with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.